What's up guys, it's CatLife. Today I got you a low to mid diamond game. And I got mid lane and I'm up against Aurelia. My runes are pretty standard conquer runes. I like taking conquer against Aurelia, but Electrocute is also pretty good too. I also went flash ignite this game, no teleport. I think either works here as well. TP will help you make more plays on the map and could help you lane a little bit easier but I decided to take flash this game just because I think that it could help me push for a kill or it can help me escape a gank it's just the utility of it that's pretty good especially in a matchup like Aurelia where she can get really aggressive and I might need flash in order for me to survive all ins or ganks because in this matchup if she gets one kill it's actually kind of doomed, and it's pretty rough for Katarina. Generally, she's going to have all the control in the lane if she's ahead, and you really don't want that to happen. So here we're off to a great start. Kha'Zix gets jumped by five people, and he is now down. Um, luckily, Aurelia doesn't get the kill. It goes to the Volley Bear. So for my lane, it's okay, because Aurelia is not really going to have an item advantage. She's just gonna have the corrupting pot. And for me, I got the long sword into three pots. I'm looking to go into Bork and into AP afterwards. I think Bork is just really good, especially if I'm able to finish the Bork safely. I should be able to just kill Aurelia. So that's why I'm getting it. I also think AD is just really good with Conquer. It will allow me to punish Aurelia hard because the way the lane works is like she wants to hit her E and if she hits her E then she can hard win trades and even just kill you flat out so you don't want that to happen all right so here we start the laning phase Aurelia is just gonna be looking for low minions to Q on and so I'm just gonna be keeping an eye on that too and I don't want her to engage on me with the Q because even early game if she decides to Q a minion and bring up her stacks a little bit and then jump on you she can actually win the trades but i think in this matchup or in this game at least i don't think she's gonna do that because she went corrupting if they go like ad early like longsword or d blade they would they usually like to do that because they know that katarina isn't gonna win that but yeah now we just hit level two and you see that i'm staying pretty back trying not to do anything too crazy just last hitting and farming but also trying to predict how Aurelia is moving basically just try to see where her focus is going to be on in these little seconds just because you know I can see my minions getting low so I know that she wants to queue them but at the same time you know I can just kind of predict when she's going to walk up her minions and when I'm okay to walk up as well so she hits level 3, uses her W, she's just going to hard shove the wave. Uh, luckily she doesn't get the hard shove because the minions come in. So I basically just freeze in front of my tower this is a pretty good spot for me. I was able to set up a Q and just go for a light poke. I'm just going to keep the wave here. I see Kha'Zix getting jumped on but there's not really much I could do about it. So we just focus on our lane and just farm. being pretty careful here I knew she was gonna cue that and I just immediately jump out now if we take a closer look if I were to dodge that E I had a W dagger set up so that I can jump in and hard punish her sadly I didn't dodge the E so I had to jump out but there could have been an opportunity there where I kill her it's about fishing for these opportunities and trying to see if Aurelia messes up so that I'm able to take advantage of her and kill her. Here, Kha'Zix looks to jump in on Aurelia, so I go and help him. Flash over the wall and everything. Make sure she's dead, and now we're in a good spot. We're just going to push this in. Hard shove, and we're probably just looking to back at this point. I'm maxing E in this matchup too, just because 
If I'm going Bork Conquer, I like to go Emax because it scales with the AD. Now here I see my team getting jumped on, so I kind of walk down, but they don't commit onto the Ash, so I'm just going to back here. I get the wave fully shoved anyway, so it should push back into me. I come back with the pickaxe, and we're actually in a pretty good spot. Building Vork can be kind of annoying sometimes because you might not be able to back with the certain amount of gold that you might need in order to build like the bigger components of Vork. Because like ideally, you probably want to back with a Vamp Scepter or a pickaxe and not really have to resort to buying the daggers because they're not super useful early. So this is a good back for me. And now here, I'm going to slow push this. The minions are going to be towards my side of the lane. So I want to keep it here as much as possible. I see the minions are low. So she does end up queuing. Here I just get a quick poke in. I get hit by the E here, but it's okay. I actually do a lot of damage anyway. Now here I'm just kind of looking for 6. The next wave came in, and so yeah, I'm just I'm just playing it slow again. Just want to keep the wave closer to my side as long as possible. Because one thing, it's safe, but also you want to try to make Aurelia walk up for farm or EXP. Now I'm just waiting for the next wave. And here, doing this, um, also zoning out Aurelia from the farm, will help you gain a little bit of like CS lead. But I hit 6 first, so I'm just basically looking to just shove this in. I know she's not going to walk up. Though I'm sort of fishing for it, seeing if she does overextend, but... She plays pretty back, and I know she's going to hit 6 off this wave. Bot lane not doing too hot. It's 5-1 right now. Rengar's doing alright though. Now here, she's 6, I'm 6. But still, she actually has the advantage here. Because if I were to get hit by her E, that means I get hit by ulti. And she actually just has an insane amount of damage. So, I've even seen situations where Aurelia is just like super behind, but she gets like her abilities off and Katarina just dies. So, you don't really want to give her that chance to come back and give her the opportunity to get a kill. So, I just kind of sit back, but she is kind of low on mana here, so I'm pretty safe. She hit 7 here. Dragon's also up. But I'm just going to farm this wave. Looking at the map, seeing what's going on in the map. Next wave is also going to come in. Rengar kills the GP. That's really good. Aurelia and Volley go to drag, and there's not really much I could do there. Bot lane's weak. And I don't think Kha'Zix is very strong right now. And Volley is 2-0. So we're just going to give up this drag. It's unfortunately on the weaker side of our map. Since bot lane isn't doing well. And Kha'Zix is a little bit behind. We don't want to generally fight that. It's just not in our favor. But yeah, I come back with the boots. And I get the Vamp Scepter. So pretty good buys here. I'm going to walk straight towards Kha'Zix. See if I can help. Kha'Zix gets a kill here, which is pretty good. But GP ends up getting a kill here and getting doubles. So I just go back into lane. I also know that top lane is like... Even now, because GP got the kill. But like I said, I'm just sort of sticking to the idea that Aurelia can still one-shot me. But she misses her E here, so I just go for the all-in. She actually messed that up pretty bad. But the moment I dodged the E, like, she shouldn't be walking up. Here, I just make sure I get the cannon. GP's here, we just kind of stall it out because Rengar is uh, hitting the tower. And that forces Volley up top. And we're just going to grab this wave. 
basically just looking for the Bork. Now I see that it is a regular minion wave right now. So I just end up staying for the wave because I know I could shove it really fast and my W is coming up. And my Q is already up. So I'm just going to throw a Q, E, W. Just clear the wave really fast. And just back off. Ward the lane. Just in case uh, Aurelia decides to roam. I'm going to walk bottom here, but the dragon ended up being pinked. So that's probably why they're playing so aggressive, because they knew that like if I were to walk down for the roam, then they would know that I'm coming. And if I were to go for the roam, the play would probably be to walk around into my jungle, but that would take a lot of time. So I just focused on my lane here. Come back to this wave. I don't really have any big buys right now. Bot lane's dying again. I really is going to clear that ward. Follow bear is also getting rift. So I gotta make sure that I don't get pressured out of my lane here because I know that they're gonna be able to rift mid if I lose the pressure mid. So I gotta play smart here. If you see, I left a W there because I knew that they might potentially engage because Volley's around. Volley ends up showing himself, so I just jump back to the dagger. But it was also for me to be able to walk up and at least have a point where I could jump back to so I can be safe. And now I'm basically just farming out my Bork. If you see, one more wave and I should be good. And we are out of here. So right now, game's looking really good on my end. I have pretty good control of the Aurelia. She doesn't want to get aggressive on me. And now that I have Bork, she really shouldn't get aggressive on me. So I have complete control of the mid lane right now. And she's like not even close to finishing her Bork. So I'm at a huge advantage and I'm going to be at this point for a while until she builds the Bork. But hopefully I can snowball my lead till then. Norelia is low on mana. She's probably looking to back. Now here, Aurelia backs in the lane. I knew Kha'Zix was around, so I'm like, oh, maybe we can try to pick her off here. She goes for a greedy recall, and we punish that. Bot lane gets rifted. And now, I know Aurelia is back, so I'm just going to shove in this lane, and I have my Bork, so I'm looking to make aggressive plays. Now I'm looking here. So let's pause it for a second. So basically what happened is Volibear decided to rift bottom and now he is looking to pressure the bot jungle because bot, our bot side got opened up. So they're going into the jungle, it's a little bit more safer for them to go in, but now let's see what happened mid lane. Aurelia ended up staying for two waves while I was backing the entire time. So basically as I was making my way back into lane, Aurelia was still shoving the waves. She was using all of her mana to shove it as quick as possible and look for the back. So this is like really bad timing for the enemy team because they're basically invading into our jungle while Aurelia is backed. So I know that this is a good opportunity for us to go in. Now let's play it back out. I see Thresh full committing. Volley Bear's over there too, but I have my Bork, so I'm not really afraid of him. I tried to one-shot him, but he got the shield, and then he ulted away. Now Thresh is too deep. Get the reset on him. E, W, Q, flash out. E, E, W, Q, kill the volley. So this was a pretty bad play from the enemy team, because they really didn't take into account who was on the map and who was backed, because Aurelio was back. So we had the numbers advantage there, and we were able to just clean up that fight real quick. Now, this wasn't a play that happened because of me or really on my end but I at least wanted to highlight exactly what happened so you guys have an understanding of why that fight worked out because you got to be able to catch these things in your games and understand when the enemy is inting and when they are not so now we're fucking huge and we have our circ shoes and we got our blasting one and we're looking to go into our nashers tooth I actually really like the build um bork nashers it's a pretty good conquer build and there's a lot on hit now I see Ziggs here, he went for the Q, I set up the Q on him real quick, save my ulti until after he W's and then I E out. 
So I know at this point that I'm just going to be able to one shot Ziggs. So I definitely wanted to look for some kind of engage. And he actually ended up just walking up and overextending. But Katarina's Q is pretty good for trying to catch people walking up, so remember to use it in that way. I knew that maybe Ziggs wanted to walk up to try to clear the wave as soon as possible, and he probably didn't want to walk up too far, so he was trying to do it really quickly. But you know, you gotta keep those in check and see if they overextend and just sort of place that Q and time it well and have a reason to throw out the Q to see if they would actually step on it or maybe even just not even see it coming. So we have Dragon up right now, and Thresh dies, so I am down to pressure this Dragon. We have the numbers advantage, Ziggs isn't very that strong. And I see Aurelia just splitting bot, she kind of froze the lane. So I'm like, eh, okay, I'm just gonna go bottom and match her, but I just wanna at least make sure that Volley isn't around. So I actually see Volley show up in mid lane. So here, I'm just gonna look for a kill, because I know I can kill Aurelia. So I set up a Q. Go for a little poke. Mainly I just want to shove in the wave, but I'm going to try to kill Aurelia in the process. So she walks up for that minion. I go in. And I wait till she goes in to throw my LT. Now, Aurelia is a, essentially a free kill there. But you also got to make sure that you need to not get your LT cancelled. Because I knew that if I was able to get my LT off, that she was dead. So, you have to wait out her E. And make sure that you have your full burst for her. Because if I got my ult cancelled there, I would have died. 100%. So we just start working on this tower. I'm just going to hit a little bit. I don't really have a big buy here. I'm just going to shave down the tower just a little bit. And then just go for back because I'm pretty low. And I know that Aurelia is probably going to come down bot here. So slowly we're building into our Nasher's Tooth. And once I get my Nasher's Tooth, I will be super duper strong. I didn't want to stay for this wave because I wasn't too sure about when Aurelia was going to get into lane. So I just backed and I ended up getting two daggers, which is fine. And I see top lane sort of getting aggressive. So I am going to go top here too. And I know Aurelia is bot here. So there should be free kills. Kha'Zix goes in, jumps out, but at least wants to start a fight so that maybe we can clean up, but sadly we don't get the kill. I honestly thought that we can kill the volley here without using my LT or Ignite, but it's fine. And now Aurelia is just like shoving bots, so I want to at least match that. Vel'Koz is mid to take the wave, so I'm just going to go bottom so we don't lose any minions. I have my recurve bow now, but I'm probably looking to just stay here until I get my Nashers. Because I'm pretty close to it. Checking the bush to see if Aurelia is around. Maybe doing a recall on that bush. Using my LT. We see bot lanes just chilling mid lane. I have maybe like. 300, 400 more gold to go to get the Nasher's Tooth. I believe it's at like 1,115 to get it. I'm really hoping they don't fight mid because I'm going to push another one. So if I see my team trying to get aggressive and fight without me, then I would have pinged them off. Check around the bush to see if there's any wards. The only people showing on the map right now is Zig, Thrash, and Aurelia. So, I had a feeling that maybe Volley was bot, so I at least want to just make sure. But, just to play it safe, I'm just going to shove in the wave. Now, Volley was actually bot side, and I'm pretty down to fight this. Aurelia is going to be stuck bottom, and we have four people ready for this fight. And I see how Kha'Zix is positioning right now, so I'm going to try to play around it here. Like, if he catches the Aurelia off here, then that'd be really good. You see here? Yep. So, Kha'Zix was in a good position to make a pick, and I at least wanted to back him up with that. And we ended up getting the kill on Aurelia, which is which is pretty nice. We get to just, like, shove in the bot lane here. 
Now, Kha'Zix's still around the bot side jungle, so I'm, I'm just watching him as I do this. But my goal here is to just take this tower. So I wanted to get this tower, but GP ends up coming. Thing with GP though is I could probably kill him pretty easily. I'm thinking maybe I should have just jumped on him there. But we have Kha'Zix in place. And I'm trying to work with him here. He gets the pick on Thresh, that's really good. Now we know GP's bot side. If he were to show himself on the map here, then we could probably kill him. Shoving the wave. GP's low. I, I really didn't need to use my summoners here, but fuck it. I was feeling myself this game, so I wanted to just press my buttons. But good play on the Kha'Zix. We saw Volibear go get the rift, so we knew he wasn't down here. So we can just play aggro bot side. Now Dragon's coming up as well, and I want to make sure that I back for it. And be healthy. Now our team comp is not really ideal. We have Rengar, Kha'Zix, Ash, and Vel'Koz, and there's no real front line here. So the way you have to play these games out is a little bit different. Than like your standard like oh group for team fights and um, try to 5v5 for objectives because we don't really have like a 5v5 team fighting comp we have three assassins so I think our game here is to try to snowball our lane and pretty much just make picks and just overwhelm them with damage and try to keep assassinating them so here I walk up and I end up getting hooked, but I eat back and then I set up the Q, ELT, I know Thresh is dead, E, E back to the GP, Q, set it up, E, W, Q, Zig flashes, I just E onto him, E out and we're chilling. Now this is a free drag. Now I knew I was strong enough to like kill them all. So me getting caught by the Thresh was no big deal and also him queuing in was kind of troll that basically started that entire sequence because i knew i was able to get the reset off the thresh and now from here the game's pretty over and you give it some time and they're just gonna ff but i do want to talk about what happened this game so bot lane was getting fucked pretty hard they were dying over and over from thresh sigs one thing about Ziggs though, is that like, he's pretty easy to deal with as Cat if you're able to jump in on him. So I'm not too worried about Ziggs. And so that's like one good thing about their team comp and one okay thing about them like snowballing off of bot lane. Because it isn't as unforgiving as like other ADCs that Katarina can't deal with like Kai'Sa, Lucian, Draven, they're all pretty fucking annoying. But luckily we were able to get a pretty big lead mid lane. We played the lane pretty well. Aurelia made some pretty questionable decisions, but we have to make sure that we catch those mistakes so that we could take full advantage of it. And we were able to get the gold, get the kills. Now also one other thing is that I didn't really gank bot too much. Like you would think that if your bot lane is losing really hard that you want to help them and try to like gank them and try to get them ahead but this game i didn't really find an opportunity to do it so i'm not going to force it but also on top of that like if the enemy bot lane's like really ahead you know that they have full control of the lane so it's going to be harder to gank them especially because you know wards and they they're able to place the vision down safely and so it kind of makes it harder for you to gank it in general and you also gotta take into account like how strong their bot lane got from your bot lane. So you want to really assess the situation and see if you really want to gank bot or not. But yeah, that was the video. I hope it helped you. If you like content like this, just hit the subscribe button. And if you really did learn something from it, you should probably hit like. And comment down below, maybe future videos you want to see or maybe something that you've learned from this video. I would really appreciate it.
thank you guys so much i'll catch you guys next time